Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the nation's leader in regenerative cell therapies. A question we get asked a lot is, who are the donors for the perinatal tissue? Meaning the amniotic fluid, the umbilical cord, Wharton's jelly, the placenta. Well, the FDA regulates that whole process. And what those regulations state, that if a woman is under the age of 35, then she can be a potential donor if she's undergoing a scheduled C-section. Now, three things have to happen. First, the woman needs to be screened with blood work, looking at uh, different diseases, as well as a medical history, looking at drug abuse, smoking, things like that. In addition, there's a consent form, and more often than not, there's also a compensation to the woman, which is regulated by the FDA under what's called fair market value. All right? Assuming all of those are copacetic, when the scheduled C-section occurs, the baby's fine, and then the perinatal tissue, which is normally uh, discarded, is put into a sterile container. It goes right to the lab for processing. So it's an ethical procedure. Our centers have done thousands of procedures. have been very safe and very effective. Visit us online today at r3stemcell.com. You can also call us at 844-GET-STEM. Be happy to get you in for a free consultation at a center close to you. Thank you.